Welcome back to The Body Coach TV. Today's video is all about how to warm up before a hit session. I recommend doing this every time you do a hit session, whether it's in the gym, at home, one of my YouTube videos. Just make sure you get the body opened up, improve your mobility, and reduce the risk of injury. So the first thing I'm gonna do, then on your back, I've got them written down. We're gonna do about 30 seconds on each one. So what we're gonna do is feet together, knees together, and you're just gonna gently rock your knees and legs and feet, left to right, it's just going to sort of loosen up the lower back. A lot of people find that they have tension there. You might feel a few clicks as well, which is fine. So just left to right. Brilliant. So now I'm going to progress this one. By the, oh, there's a nice click. By just doing single leg ones, okay? So basically what you're going to do is, nice straight leg. Just bring it to the side, to the middle. Just do a few on each side. So you can look away if you want a little bit more of a stretch. Good. And then the other leg, so left leg up, just drop it to the side, to the middle. And again, if you look to the opposite direction, you'll feel it really stretching that lower back. Brilliant, right, so next one then on my list is the handball. It's basically you get one leg bent, cap, grab the leg just above the knee, below the knee, sorry, and just gonna pull that leg, so imagine you're getting your knee to your forehead, you're gonna feel it just stretching this muscle here, so we're just doing little dynamic stretches here, so squeeze it and relax and then let it rest. Good, and again. Another leg, so left leg. If you're about to embark on a hit session now where you're doing anything like running on the spot, or treadmill sprints, you know, you've got to make sure your legs are warmed up. Right, so after that one we're gonna do last one of this. Good, okay, so then we're gonna do a crab lift. Basically what you're gonna do is hands just by your sides, just lift up, okay, and squeeze those glutes. So you're gonna feel a stretch in your chest and shoulders. It's also going to activate your glutes and your hamstrings. So squeeze, lift up, push, feel the stretch, down. It's a great one for your chest, that one. It's really, I'm quite tight in the chest, so it's really stretching my chest and my shoulders there. Lift the bum up as high as you can. Last rep. Good. Right, we're now going to go into... Downward dog into cobra. So this is a really good exercise, again, for your hamstrings and your lats and everything. And so basically you're gonna start in the plank position like this, and just push up onto your hands, into that downward dog. And if you wanna just walk out your feet like this, just a little bit. Give some nice straight arms, pushing them into the ground. And from that position there, we're gonna go knees to the ground, chest to the ground and just gently lift up into the cobra and again it's back into the downward dog downward dog feel that stretch then come down slowly knees to the ground chest to the ground and then so you're gonna feel your lower back there last one of those so downward dog come down knees to the ground chest up Stretch good, brilliant. Right, so we've done that one. We're now going to do wide step climbers. So, in this presser position, what you're going to do is just step and stretch the hip flexors. So, you're going to feel that in your groins. You might not get right upside, you can get you know just outside of your foot. Nice big stretch. If you're only there, it's fine, you're still going to feel the stretch. But obviously, the aim is trying to step right there. Get a really big stretch. So, three more, three. Two and one. Brilliant. So next one I'm gonna do is the hip hamstring one. This is a good one, it's my favourite. So basically from this position, you're gonna push forward into your hip flexor, which is there. So push forward onto that knee, stretch that, then sit down and stretch your hamstring. Okay, so then alternate. So go hip flexor, 
hamstring. Good, this is brilliant. This is gonna really get your legs warmed up. And this is about mobility, right? The more, mobili more mobile your joints are, the more, the better you're gonna get your set, you know, the more you're gonna get out of your sessions because you're better to squat with better form, lunge better. All right, so, other leg. Right leg forward. Stretch that hip flexor. And then down, and you'll feel it there. So it's hamstring there, the back of that one. And the front of there. Good, stretch. What's coming up next? T opens there, another good one. So we're going to start doing a few upper body ones. So this will be this, you know, this is less than 10 minutes, but this is so good for your body, you won't regret it. It's going to prevent injuries, help you recover quicker, reduce the soreness between hit sessions, which is important, and just make sure your muscles are nice and long and supple and not short and tight and tense, right? So we're going to now go into the T open. So like this press position again. This is a really great for opening up your chest and shoulders. So hand in the middle. Twist round. Good. Twist. This is all about preparing your body for a hit session. If you're going cold, you just jump into burpees and squat jumps and mountain climbers. You will, you will pull muscles. It could put you out for a week or two. So try your best to do a little, even if it's a five minute mobility stretch, dynamic movements like these, it's going to be worth it. Right, then we're going to do rows. Okay, so nice wide gap between the legs. And this big base is going to row, activate those muscles in the upper back. Good. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Good. We're now going to do another good one, which is a sumo kind of squat into a hamstring. So basically, nice wide stance. So we're going to put our hands on the ground. Like this, and then from there, just stand up. So stretch like you're opening your hips there, stretching your, you can always use your elbows to push out. So stretch there, and then up into your hamstring stretch. So sumo squat. You might want to go a little bit closer to your feet. Okay, so we go down, and then, and basically what I'm doing there, I'm just stretching those hamstrings out. When I stand up and try and get my fingers on the ground, don't arch your back, don't try and curve your back too much. Just, yeah, even just doing that is giving your back a bit straighter, you're gonna feel the stretch. The last couple, one, stretch. Good, right, so we've done that one. We're now doing this, another one of my favorites. So it's knee to the chest. So you're gonna hug the knee, so stretch there. Knee, lunge, and then twist. Okay, then we we'll swap. So it's knee, right leg, lunge forward, then you twist it outwards. So we're getting our spine involved there, a bit of rotation, lunge, step, twist. Okay, so hug that knee, so you're stretching your glute, knee up, lunge, twist, and back. Do one more on each side. So knee up, lunge, back, final one on this leg. So, so balance, stretch that, lunge, twist, and middle, good. Right, walk down, climber, press up. So we're gonna now do, this is a little heart rate elevator, hands on the ground, walk out. You can either do a full press up, or on the knees, push up, and walk back. Same again, hands down, knees on the ground, push up, this will get your chest and triceps ready for those press ups and mountain climbers and burpees and reduce any injuries and stuff through your chest. Right, so let's go. Last one. Good, and up to finish. Okay, so the final move then, just to take us to 10 minutes, is going to be a side shuffle squat. Basically, it's going to go one, two, and squat in any direction. Okay, just move around. Nice low squats. Anywhere you want to go, open up those hips. Good. A little bit of movement, left and right. Forward. Good. Touch the ground if you want. Last three. Three, two, one. That's it then. A little 10 minute warm up. Hope you enjoyed that. 
Try and do it every time you do a hit session. Your body's gonna love it, you're gonna feel better, be able to train hard and get the most out of sessions. So, hope you enjoyed that. Go and check out our YouTube channel and get a workout done and have a great day. I'll see you next time.